Hold on, I'm gonna need you to knock though, like it's a house tour. Oh, I didn't know you were coming. Empty barn tour, here we go. Part of me wants to lean into the barn thing and get like a pig bed. Like imagine a sectional couch, but it's made out of haystacks. Wait, I'm scared. Wait, do you like it? I can't tell. Come okay. on. We did this. <laughs> Hello you guys, today's video is sponsored by Rocket Money, which I am such a fan of. I'm 30 and I've had a lot of major life changes. We moved to Colorado, we're having a baby, I'm planning to get married, and a lot of that comes with financial stress. And until I started using Rocket Money, which is formerly known as Truebill, it's the same thing, just with a fresh new look and feel. It was too confusing and hard for me to keep track of my finances, so I'd kind of just cross my fingers while spending and hope for the best. Now, I was easily able to connect my credit card, my checkings, my savings, my business account, and I can see everything that's coming in versus everything that's going out. And not only that, but you can easily plan for your future by setting up smart savings accounts. You can set up budgets that automatically notify you when you're overspending in any category. Rocket Money will easily help you cancel unwanted subscriptions at the tap of a button. And something else I love is that you can monitor your credit score, which is so important when we're trying to make bigger purchases like houses or cars that we've been financially planning for forever. One ding can throw that all off, so it's great to be in the know. So try it out for free or unlock more features with premium if you go to rocketmoney.com slash rylandvlogs, or you can go and click the link in my description section below. Thank you, Rocket Money, for helping me plan for my financial future and hopefully a lot of you as well. And I hope you all enjoy today's video. Hello you guys. Something very exciting today is a task I've been putting off for a while. You guys, excuse me. Honey had a little mask that had to get removed. That's why she's a cone head and she can't participate in playing. But I have been putting off designing our tiny barn for quite a while and the day has finally arrived because we have lots of people coming in frequently to record our podcasts. And what part's the labia? <laughs> oh like those aren't the lips, right? I think it's the lips. <laughs> you don't even know? And it's just time that our guests have a space of their own. So if you remember from our initial walkthrough of this house before we actually bought it. We're moving, right? Or not, I don't know, what do you want to do? We did show the barn unit, I believe, which is a full-blown apartment in and of itself. This is so cool. <laughs> we hadn't got around to furnishing until today, and that is exactly the journey you and I are about to embark on. All right, I thought I'd give you an empty barn tour before the renovations begin. So come on in. Wait, we have to name the barn, like a hotel. Because we have the dinosaur? The dinosaur ant? Well, I'll be thinking on that. Hold on, I'm gonna need you to knock though, like it's a house tour. Okay. So. It's kind of scary out here. Have I come in yet? Hold on. It's really hot. It looks like somewhere that people would bury dead bodies. What a nice place to stay. Oh, I didn't know you were coming. I'm just cleaning the barn. Come on in. Empty barn tour, here we go. When you walk in, this is going to be our bedroom where all of our guests will stay. They'll have a nice, luxurious bed here with an ensuite bathroom. The bathroom is beautiful, it's gorgeous. Take a seat. Something I really love about this barn is it has a clutch window onto a flat rooftop that gives you a gorgeous view of the wilderness. Gotta clean this windshield. Pretty freaking gross. So if you come on this way, I have a galleyway kitchen for you all to cook your dinners for me. It actually is a really big kitchen with like full blown appliances. We have a fridge that we'll have to stock. Before renovation started, we actually got an AC and heater unit installed so that our guests can be hot or cold, whichever they prefer. And then if you pan over this way, we have what will be our family room living space. So today I really need to clean the barn and get a lot of things fixed because over the winter Colorado had like 
seven days that were like below zero or something. And a lot of our pipes froze and so a lot of the appliances have to be replaced. Oh no. I come to Ryan's and Shane's house and it's flooding and I don't have keys to the barn. Shoot, I'm gonna have to break in. My poor dad. So he had to break through the window. Sorry, Ryan and Shane. Oh shit, that is heavy. Oh, I can't fit. And the toilet bowl had frozen and cracked. And then after it cracked, it was just leaking and leaking and leaking. Oh yeah, that's not good. Oh no. Oh shoot, that's all wet. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. That's full of water. Not good. Hope this wasn't nobody's grandma's blanket. Sorry guys, I made a mess. I got the water off though and it's not leaking anymore. I'll come back with a fan and dry this joint out. And then I'll fix what I broke. Sorry guys, later. Thank goodness he checked the barn. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the space before the designing begins. You want to show the talk about the problem areas? Okay, so the problem and challenges with designing a small space, although it's gorgeous, are going to be our furniture and where everything will lie. Um, if I have this be our living quarters, it's difficult to have a full-blown dining space. So I think I'm gonna have to decide, do I want a desk, do I want a dining room, and how am I gonna make it comfortable and cozy, although the space is small. It's a gorgeous space. They did so good with all the shiplap, but there's definitely elements that are tricky, so I'm gonna have to like really measure to a T how I'm gonna make everything work. Cameraman revealed. <laughs> okay, first of all, I was just about to work out, so that's why I look like this. Um, okay, so the big thing that we need is for this to be done in one month because this is where Chris stays usually when it's not broken. So now that it's fixed, he's gonna be staying up here while we do the podcast. So I think it could be fun to like do a reveal for Chris because he has no idea that this is happening. I hope Chris is shook. All right, you go work out. I'm gonna start cleaning this place and we're gonna get a move on. And go! Okay, so I'm up here measuring the space for furniture and I have made enough furniture mistakes in my life to know that I need exact measurements. So I like to use this app called ArcSight, not sponsored, but you can map out the space and really envision what type of furniture will best fit, especially since this is a small space. I really need to be thoughtful about the design so it feels comfortable, useful, cozy, and is a space that a lot of people want to hang out and sleep in, live in, etc. Okay, and we're furniture shopping for the barn. I found a few cute new places that we've never been before. I was really trying to find something like our favorite stores in California that are like half consignment, half new. So I'm hoping for a success because I would really like to be able to like buy, grab and go instead of wait for 45 months for a piece of furniture. Cause we only have like 15 days, baby. How much a part of this journey am I? Because I feel like, you know, like sometimes I pick up furniture and you don't like it. But like, this is your thing, right? Even though it's also mine. I mean, you have input. It's like, yeah. Because like, I don't know, like part of me wants to lean into the barn thing and get like a pig bed. But then the other part of me is like, no, do we go bougie and get like a bougie bed? I mean, I think we can meet somewhere in the middle and have it be fun, but also themed. Imagine a sectional couch, but it's made out of haystacks. Okay, that's <laughs> too much. We want people to want to sit down. I don't know, maybe we'll get inspired by one piece and design the room around that. Right when you walk in. Oh, you're kidding. Wait, do we, should we replace our couch? Wait, I know that this is about the barn, but... It's different. It's not the same dimensions, but honestly, we could do this sort of thing in the barn, and then maybe we would Hi. like doing that. Hello. <laughs> Just in the couch. Let's just take this whole room. Okay. A queen bed will fit with two nightstands with the door opening. I was thinking like little dining, circle dining table would be fun. Now what we have to decide is where the TV is gonna go. I was thinking a sectional looking this way, cause that's a bigger wall for a TV. And then we could do like a desk back in the like nook. But where are you gonna fit that for me? 
Because I just want room for that. I just want to make sure that's right when you walk in. I found a desk chair for your custom desk. Hear me out. <gasps> Hear me out. Oh. Hear me out. <laughs> Whoa. Listen. Wow, I meant this as a joke, but you look shook. I mean, I kind of thought it. <gasps> well, wait, it's really comfortable. To add like a little glam. If it fits into that little nook. This was started as a <gasps> joke, but now we're here. Because it's so beautiful, it would create like interest for the eye. Yeah. It looks like if drag queens created the Titanic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the antique mirror feel for the overall space. Jaws, bitch. Wow. Can't believe he likes this. I mean, I love it. Because the thing with the barn is you can't really put much artwork up because of the shiplap. If the bed is kind of the wild. Right. We love this bench either in front of the bed. I kind of live for this chair in the living room for some reason. Next to the couch. It's just kind of bold and weird. I feel like you woke up in my brain or something. <laughs> you like it? Well, you're just picking up the ugly stuff. And I love ugly <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so this with a mattress, it would be higher than. That is like a chic. And then you could sit down and put your shoes on. Ew. I just want to jump them up. Okay, and to Shane's favorite, he's been wanting to come back here since I didn't let him get the paint. Whoa. What is that? I need it. It's, what is that? I need it. Oh, it's a wine rack. Oh, it's really comfortable. A little decor. Look at the paint. This is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. The cup I got you. Really? Yeah. You can have the water bottle. I don't need it. No, you put the water in there. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that makes my day. I love it. Oh. I got Rylan one and he hates it. Oh, I haven't even seen it yet. Oh my god. Look how beautiful this is. I'll use that one. I'll put my espresso. Oh, that is really cute. Oh my gosh, Ryan. It's not as cute as this, but it's cute. He won't even use it. Oh, it's please. So I really didn't even know that one was for me. I literally oh. said, your cup came to remind you of LA. Oh my gosh, this is wow. so awesome. Thank you, Shane. Can I pay you for it? <laughs> Okay, well my mom's here because she needs a rug, I need rugs for the barn, so we're gonna go be shopping girls together. Oh, my little children. I got a matching one. Gosh, that is so cool. I know you don't, you don't like it too big, right? Oh, no, I like it more like this. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, even right. Bruce and I said, you know, sometimes on the podcast, we kind of gotta skip forward a little. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> But you're right, I can't handle the half gallon. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Wait, tell your life hack again. Um, I have a life hack? What? Yeah, you just gave me a good old cheap trick. <laughs> oh, I said that if you buy almonds in the baking section at Walmart, they're cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> See, perfect for baking or snacking, but that they're- a life hack! On, no, honestly, pecans, everything, if you buy them in that section, they're cheaper. Okay. So, I'm trying to crack the layout of this barn. Oh, barn! So, I'm looking at that going, how could that be your office? It's confusing. I'm okay. redoing two rooms. Well, I've been redoing my office for a year. This room sucks. <laughs> That's coming after this, okay. but for see. this side of the barn. Okay. And so I'm thinking if I put a sectional here and mounted the TV here, there is an awkward one and a half foot gap back there. But I was thinking I could put a table for drinks and a hangover lamp so it would fill the space. Oh, that's a good a idea. Also, I want your opinion on the desk. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, that desk is way cute. It's like antique to mirror, but I'm trying oh, to figure out if it goes so with- that is so cute. But like, look at the leopard the seat, house. and then look at the, oh, oh, the mirror chair from leopard. behind. Oh. Also, did you know that thousands of tarantulas are coming to Colorado? <laughs> 
then I'm moving. <laughs> <gasps> Let's go to LA. I want Riley to jump in the pool. <laughs> oh, wait. Can we? What? <laughs> I don't know, everybody's been texting me the saying thousands of tarantulas are coming to okay, Colorado. That's gross, but do you wanna to go to LA soon and go hang out and then come back? Well, I just want Riley to see the LA house while she's a baby because I want her to jump in the pool while she's a little baby. I see, okay. Well, let's all go. But how will you get all the dogs home again? You have a lot of animals. Doesn't Bruce always wanna try the RV life? Yes. How about we rent him an epic RV, put all the animals and all of our crap in it, and then me and him will just fly he over. He will fly. <laughs> Okay, back to my barn makeover. Oh, oh yeah, Sorry. that was, oh yeah, well I Sorry. guess we were talking about that. Ryan, look, it's rug heaven. I know, that's what we're doing. Dude. Oh, I'm shocked. I don't remember this. How did I not this remember this? This is where this? I got the one that's in your loft. Wow, really? Yeah. That is pretty. That is cute. Wow. wow. Sell. It's pretty bold looking at it in camera, but it's cute. It could be interesting to make the living room more like tans and whites and creams and then make the bedroom black and whites. Just to I separate guess. it. That could be cool. Rug test now that we pivoted to a bigger size. I've got to make sure the plan's going to work. <gasps> what? Whoa. What? Oh my god. No. Is that a tarantula? Okay, we can't. Find it. I told you. I told you. That's a baby one. Is that, no, that's just a wolf spider, right? Oh, I don't think so. You I don't know? think Riley should eat it. Oh, is it alive? Ah! Ah! It's alive. Oh my God, don't eat it, Riley. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. What are you guys going to do? It's alive. It's in the green. I don't want Riley to eat it. Wait, grab Riley. Riley. Oh my God. I don't think they, I don't know. Can they hurt you? I thought it was dead because it was on its back. Is it oh. that right there? Oh my gosh, he went in the green plant. I'm sure the poison Wow. Wow, my voice hurts from screaming oh, so loud. Mine too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe that happened, Riley. Okay. Wait, what are we gonna do? You well, like I'm not going in that door with that spider there. <laughs> you step over it. I no, I'm not. I think. Well, it's more dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. Riley, come back, come on. Mom. It's really big. I can't. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Maybe we should throw a rock at it. Wait, you guys are leaving me. I can't go. I can't no, do it. I'm leaving you. Just run in. I, I can't. It. You did it. He's gonna be there when we leave, though. Okay. Okay, you go. <laughs> I I don't want you to get the back of me. You go. <laughs> what, 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 how are you gonna get back out? That couch really is gonna take this entire room. Okay. You're still thinking about it? Aren't you? No. For real? No, I'm not. Oh my gosh, how can you forget about it? It's probably gonna climb into your car. Stop! Lexi's clear out front! Oh. Wow, that is so cute. So then... Oh, that is so oh cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, is that where the leopard desk is gonna go? Yeah. Oh, we have to get it. But then, there's not much room for like, dining table. It's either dining table or desk. Really we, and I think a dining table you can also work at. I think the dining table would go, it would be like a circle one right here. But then there's just all that empty space back there. Once you get the couch in here, you'll know. The rug is gorgeous. The rug is oh. Riley approved. Oh, the rug is really cute. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's gonna be so epic. People are gonna wanna just be in here forever. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, except for the tarantulas outside. Well, yeah, now that I have to stay here for the rest of my life. <laughs> Okay, I bought black spray paint. I'm going to say goodbye. Although very cute, it's just not what I'm going for in the upstairs. I don't want it to backfire onto the white barn. Oh, gorgeous. Say goodbye. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's gonna look so good up there, especially with that black and white plaid bed. Mm, gorgeous. Okay, so we just are opening the gorgeous clock that we had found, and we're trying to decide if it's gonna go up in the barn or if it's too beautiful and needs to go either in our main space or my office that I'm decorating that you haven't seen yet, but Oh, she is just so like whimsical and gorgeous. I don't Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if it matches 
the, this is like a little opulent. Like I feel like this would go really well in my office, but I guess one idea would be trying it. Um, Where the live, laugh, love sign is. Oh, what's in there? Make him a little surprise. Oh, look at it, they give us a little guy. A little packing surprise. That is what I have. Option one would be hanging her here so when you walk in the house. Whoa, it's too big. I mean, it is iconic, but... Is it too, like, different from the vibe of the house, though? Just pretend like I'm walking in. It's very heavy. It's pretty big. I don't think it's good. And then my office, but I can't show you guys that. <laughs> my wow. other thought was replacing the mirror in the piano room, but... I like being able to have that to, like, check our outfits before we walk out the door. I mean, it's still a mirror. Oh, I guess it is a mirror. It's pretty intense. I don't think it works there. I wonder if we got too intense of a statement piece for our house. Well, you can't show the office, right? No. Okay, just blur everything else, but oh my god, it looks so good there. Even with the table and stuff? Yes. Here, I'll hold it up and then you look. Wow. Okay, well, I think it's gonna go in my office and unexpected find for another room I'm redoing, but you'll see it in that video that's coming up shortly. Shortly? I mean, I am waiting on um, built-ins for over here and cabinet lead times right now are a lot. Okay, the couch that I had to be convinced of just arrived. <laughs> okay, wait, because I haven't even asked you, like, cause I've been, been working and stuff. Okay, oh, I'm out of breath. This barn is far, we need an elevator. <laughs> well, no. Okay. Here's the thing. Do you like it? We found a couch and it was like the max, max, max we could fit in the space. And Shane said, well, it's a guest place. It's where people can stay. And I really had to be convinced. I love the couch. I love how comfortable the couch is, but I was worried. And then I started freaking out today because I didn't know if it was actually gonna fit up the stairs because it's a tight space. Okay. Just barely fit. Also, look at the <gasps> new console table. That is so cute. Show me the couch. <laughs> no, it's really cute. Gorgeous. It's so cute. I love it. Wow. Okay. okay couch. Okay. Wait, I'm scared. Wait, well, do you like it? I can't tell. Wait, don't tell me. Okay. Wait, I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. Because if it sucks, it's my fault. Okay. And your mom. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let me turn one cushion around. Ah, I want to see. Okay. Come okay. on. In. We did this. <laughs> this, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. Oh, oh it's so beautiful. It fits oh my God. perfect. It is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I really think the green pops in this room. Oh my God, sitting here and looking out at the view. And then when there's a TV watching Big Brother, mm. this is everything. Can we live near? I like this better than our actual. I decided I wanted the couch facing this way because there is a big, huge, beautiful window and when it's snowing, or even right now, it's just like gorgeous to look out the window. Whoa. I, okay, so I, I don't want to do the whole I told you so thing, but like, come on. <laughs> no, I always loved it. I just didn't know if it was gonna overtake the small space. It's perfect because like this room is functional now because people can stay here, but we can like come up here and hang out and watch TV now. Oh, yeah. It weirdly makes the room look big. When it was empty, it was kind of mm. odd. Now it's like big. It's so cute. I love the rug. I love it. You don't like the rug? I want to see once the coffee table arrives in a couple of days what I think. I think it's so cute. Ugh, I have to say you were right. And ah. I do think it's a space that we're going to just like want to be in all of the time. <laughs>